Hey friends, we so miss seeing you in person at church. And I know some of these videos after a while might get hard to watch or you're like, man, I just wish we were in person. But soon and very soon, we will be gathering again together. But until then, we're gonna keep doing some videos for you to watch so that you continue can continue to learn about God. So we're gonna be starting a new series that we're gonna call Supernatural. And we have some fun videos that you can watch for the lesson. And Supernatural, you're like, what does that mean? It's gonna be talking all about worship and why worship is so important. Why we even worship what that word means and how worship can mean everything in our whole entire life. Everything we do can be worship to God, not just when we sing songs, which I know you probably miss singing songs together in church, but soon in just a couple of weeks, we're going to get to gather, be able to gather together again and sing in church. But even if you can't come to our church building, you can still worship in your home right there in your living room, wherever you watch the service, or even just driving in the car when you hear a song. We're going to learn about all the ways we can worship, and we're going to learn about one of the greatest commandments that God gives us, which is love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And today's video is going to dig into that great commandment and start to talk about what that commandment means. So watch next and see and learn all about worship and God's greatest commandment for us. I hope you enjoy it. Am I human? No. No. <laughs> Do I live in America? No. no. Am I an animal, mineral, or vegetable? Yes. Do I sing? Yes. Yep. What would I sing? Oh, where is my hairbrush? What's that? Everybody's got a water buffalo. Arr! Ah! A pirate! Don't worry, I don't do anything. <sighs> what? Well, I don't know. Am I a raisin? Mm, close, Ooh. but no. I was born in Tasmania. No. no. But, but it says so on my birth certificate. <laughs> Dan, do you even know what game we're playing? Yes. Stating facts about ourselves. Oh, hey, listen, get your stuff together, guys. It's time for our big HQ planning meeting. I don't know. Okay. Hey. 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 Okay, guys, let's begin. Today's big idea is the greatest commandment, and the big point is worshippers love God with everything they are. Uh, where's Funny Man Dan? Sorry I'm late. Last night I put my alarm outside, then set the dog. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Dan, weren't you here just a minute ago? Uh, that wasn't me, that was um, Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've got to focus on the greatest commandment. Oh yes, control, alt, delete. That command won't get rid of anything. No, Dan, it's commandment. Yes, and every time I type that command, I have meant to do so. Therefore, it's a commandment. No, 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 it's not Wait, exactly. Wait, Dan has a point. He does? He does? He does? I mean, I does? I mean, I do? Yes. Jesus gave us these amazing commandments to follow, but it's up to us to choose how we follow them. We can do it because we have to, or we can do it because we love Jesus and we want to obey them. I love it. Oh, me too. But what is the commandment? Because if it includes clean my room, I am not going to like it. <laughs> no, here it is here. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. It's from Matthew 22. Ah, that's it. Love God. I can do that. God is the best. Ah, but it's not just saying it. It goes a lot deeper than that. I can be deep. I'm a deep person. I've been taking lessons from Funny Man Dan and he thinks I'm ready. You're on your feet. Go and be deep. Okay, Nate, let's put you to the test. You love God, right? Yes, I do. 
But do you love him with all your heart, your soul, and your mind? Oh, I think I do. Are your days filled with the praise of your king? Uh, sometimes I do. Are you led by the Holy Spirit in every step you make? Wow. Do you take time during the middle of the day just to talk to God because you want to? I oh, know, but uh, what are you guys trying to say? Look, it may take a whole life to figure this thing out, but our number one priority is to love God and to grow in our love for Him. So even though I'm not there yet, every day I can take steps towards loving God more. And that is fulfilling the greatest commandment. Yeah. Exactly. Like a flower that spends its life trying to grow and develop until one day it finally opens its buds and looks towards its creator with beauty. Dan, that was so deep. You seem surprised. Look in my eyes. That's how I roam. As we start this whole adventure of learning, we need to realise that worship is about our whole lives, not just singing. Yes, in fact, you can sing as much as you want, but if your heart isn't in it, then it's just not worship. If we offer every part of our lives to God, that is true worship, giving honour to the Creator. Oh, that is beautiful. But just how are we going to communicate this big idea? I like a good movie. Yes. <gasps> Ooh, yes! Let's make another big blockbuster. All right, I'm up for it. And I know exactly what kind of movie we're going to make. Don't we, Dan? Oh, <laughs> but it's another boy movie. <laughs> Over the years, these two highly trained and skilled men have worked night and day to uphold order in our world. They have mastered and used the latest equipment in the world, and they are two of the few men that get to use the greatest advancements in transportation in the history of man. These men are going to be the first spies in space. Out of space? We can't go to out of space. Where in the world are we going to find space suits and helmets? I don't know. Starring Funny Man Dan and David Wakerly. Follow them as they search the galaxy seeking new life. Can't see anything. Oh, wait! I see something. Oh, it's getting bigger! It's getting closer! Oh, it's so ugly! What could possibly be that ugly? <clears throat> oh, sorry, Dave. Laugh with them along the journey. Okay, here's one. What did the alien say to the other alien? <laughs> and relax with them whilst enjoying a cup of tea. And now they have to travel further than any spy has before to find the ancient object that holds the answer to the question, what is the greatest commandment? Wow! It's amazing and so simple! Spies in space coming from another galaxy to a movie theater near you. Man, I'm hungry. Dave, do you want some space flakes? Fridge! What? Fridge! Oh! Oh, the humanity! Oh, oh my legs! I can't feel my legs! Worship is love God with everything they are. With everything I am? Yep, everything you is. I is? Matthew 22, 37 and 38. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Ah, all my heart, soul and mind. That's everything I am. Correct. That's everything you are. Everything I is. You is. Oh. I mean, you are a follower of Jesus Christ, who is no man. He is the son of God. Let's pretend you're in a zoo, Nathan. Can I feed the elephants? 
very realistic. You go to see the lions and outside is a big sign with rules on it. The first rule is simple. Do not enter the enclosure. Gotcha. What are the other rules? Well, it goes on to say, don't feed the animals. Here, kitty, kitty. Don't throw items at them. Thanks, little fella. Don't make loud noises. Woo and do not make eye contact. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> I'm okay. All those other rules are not as important as the first one. They do not matter if you are in the lion's den. I see. That's why Jesus said that love is the most important thing, because we'll only worship when we love. By George, I think he's got it. Worship is not just about singing, it's about our whole lives, everything we are. Worshippers love God with everything they are. Hey friends, did you like that video? They're so silly sometimes. The venture they took to find the greatest commandment is so silly. But what they're talking about is so important. The greatest commandment that God gave us. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your soul. And like they talked about, like, what does that look like? It's more than just saying it. It's living it out with our life. It's the words that we use to our friends and our family and the way we speak to others, the music that we listen to, praying to God, reading our Bible, journaling, growing in our love for God like he talked about. It may not happen overnight. In fact, it won't happen overnight. It takes a whole lifetime, but that is why God gave it to us as the greatest commandment. Every day he wants us to learn more and more of how we can love him because that is our way of showing that we love him by worshiping, by reading our Bible, by praying, by being kind and nice to others and sharing the love of God to all that, all the people that are around us. And right now in this hard time, that is so very important. And so I hope that these series and these videos can be a beginning step of how we can love God better because that is supposed to be what our whole life is all about loving God with all of our heart not just knowing things in our head but believing it in our heart our minds reflect God and our whole entire being our soul is made to love God and it takes a whole lifetime but you're never too young to start you're never too young to start learning to love God and what that means and you're never too young for God to speak to you. He is eagerly waiting to speak to us. That's why we call it a relationship with Jesus. Because in a relationship, you talk with one another. And God can talk to us through prayer, through worship, through reading the Bible. Maybe sometimes you think you hear a song that you really like on the radio or at church. And you hear this song and you're like, man, I really like that song. Maybe through that song God is speaking to you or maybe there's a verse that you always liked and that verse God is using to speak to you and just by the words that we use to others we can be messengers of God meaning that God can use us to speak to other people our family our friends everyone so this video through these next three videos through the next few weeks, we're gonna be learning all about that commandment and how that commandment leads us to a life full of worship because we were made to worship God and give him thankfulness and praise and just have a grateful heart for all the things that he's done for us. I can't wait to see what next videos are to come and how much we're gonna learn out of this. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Bye, guys.
jump up all together as high as you can. You guys ready? One, two, three. With all